Hello, and welcome to the unboxing and mounting video for Anker Solix X1. Before we begin, note that only properly trained technicians and certified installers should set up Anker Solix X1. Refer to the safety instructions for more information. You can pause the screen at any time to review the information. Here's some more important safety information. Don't place modules in an area exposed to direct sunlight, fire, or explosive material and make sure the installation location is protected from hazards, like floods. Here's what you'll need to install Anker Solix X1. Note that these tools aren't included in the package. Now we're ready to begin the installation. First, move the package to the installation site and unbox it. Start by opening the power module package. Here's what you'll find inside. Next, it's time to lift the power module. There are also two hooks on the back for mounting. Pause the screen if you need to see the dimensions. Now, let's open the battery module package. Here's what you'll find inside. The battery module also has left and right handles for you to lift it. There are also two hooks on the back for mounting. Pause the screen if you need to see the dimensions. Decide whether you'll install X1 on the ground or on the wall. We'll show you ground installation now. First, select a wall clearance of either 30 mm or 70 mm, depending on your needs. Place the battery base vertically against the wall. The arrow on the base should point toward the wall. When finished, check if the base is level. Fold the positioning card as directed and align it with the top of the base. Make sure it adheres to the wall and the base. Next, align the bottom holes with the marked points on the wall. Continue marking all necessary holes before mounting the bracket on the wall. When you're ready to mount the brackets, you'll see there are three options for screw hole spacing, 304 mm. 406 mm and 508 mm, use an electric screwdriver to drill a hole of the appropriate size on the marked point. Then inserting all the expansion screw shells in the holes, put the bracket on the screws and confirm the bracket is level. We're ready to install the batteries. Place the first battery onto the base and secure it with the connector clip on both sides. Make sure the battery is aligned with the base. Mount the battery and base onto the bracket. Mount the second battery on top. Stack and lock any remaining batteries and power modules. When finished, make sure all modules are aligned. Insert shims between the bracket and the hook to prevent wobbling. Now, you can begin wiring. First and foremost, prepare and connect a GND cable from the power module to the external ground point. Remove the dustproof plugs from all module BMS and power ports. Attach the included cable ties to the modules. It's an important step before continuing the installation. Route the GND cables through the cable ties. Secure the cables with screws. Route the RJ45 signal cables through the cable ties. Loosen the locking caps, insert the cables into the BMS ports, and finally rotate the locking caps to secure them. Route the negative DC power cables through the cable ties and insert the cables into the module's negative power ports. Route the positive DC power cables through the cable ties and insert the cables into the module's positive power ports. Just a reminder, the GND and RJ45 cables are secured with the same cable tie. Each DC power cable has its own cable tie. Cut off any cable tie excess. Repeat these steps to wire each module. On the bottom battery module, Insert an RJ45 connector with 120 ohm terminating resistors through the battery base. Connect with the BMS port. Next, cover the negative DC power port with a female cap and cover the positive DC power port 
with a male cap. Now, let's discuss connecting the power module to external devices. First, take apart one of the included AC connectors. Route the three conductor cable through the nut, clamp, seal, and body. Then, strip the insulation layers from the conductors. Note that the 6M cable is not included. Insert and crimp the tube terminals. Just a reminder, we've included the 10AWG conductors in the package. Connect the LAEUNA and ground conductors to the sockets labeled LLNA and PE, respectively. Tighten the three screws on the casing with a number one Phillips screwdriver. Align the cap and body as shown. Rotate the cap until you hear a click. Tighten the nut to secure the cable. Repeat the steps to assemble the other AC connector. Remove the dustproof covers from the AC ports. Then, attach the AC grid connector with the black cap to the AC grid port. Connect the AC backup connector with the gray cap to the AC backup port. Connect the AC grid connector to the main panel and the AC backup connector to the backup load panel. Now, let's discuss power sensors. It should be mounted on the photovoltaic and grid side. First, take the power sensor out of the box. Pause the screen at any time if you need to review details. Connect the signal cables to the power sensor. Connect the power cables to the power sensor as shown. Then, install the DIN rail in the power sensor. Route the signal cables from the power sensor through the locking cap and wiring compartment cover. Route the signal cables from the electric meter through the locking cap and wiring compartment cover. Strip the insulation layers. Then crimp one tube terminal onto the two 485 positive conductors and the other tube terminal onto the two 485 negative conductors. Insert the tube terminals into the two pin terminal block connector and plug it into the terminal block socket labeled meter. Plug the cover into the wiring compartment and secure it by turning the locking cap. Now it's time for you to connect your system to the internet. You can connect via Ethernet, WLAN or a 4G dongle. For a WLAN connection, you need to install a WLAN dongle on the power module. First, take off the cover plate on top of the power module. On the right side of the power module, twist the WLAN 4G port cap to remove it. Insert the WLAN dongle into the port. Rotate the head of the WLAN dongle clockwise to tighten it. Reinstall the cover plate and secure it with screws. For an Ethernet connection, please have an Ethernet cable ready. First, you need to take off the waterproof cap on the end of the WLAN dongle. Put an Ethernet cable through the waterproof cap. Strip the insulation layers on the ends of the Ethernet cable. Crimp the RJ45 connector using the RJ45 crimping tool. Ensure the pins click in place. Put the Ethernet cable into the ETH port of the WLAN dongle and secure the port. Plug the WLAN dongle along with the Ethernet cable back to the power module. We're almost finished. Now it's time to install the battery side covers, starting with the bottom and moving up. 
align the side cover clips with the grooves at the bottom of the battery. Push the side covers down to click into place. Install the side covers onto the power module, aligning the clips with the grooves. Push the covers down to click into place. Fasten the black M4 10mm screws on top. Next, attach the separators to the slot on the right side cover. Finally, take off the screen protection film. Your installation of Anchor Solix X1 is now complete. Anchor Solix. Live in power.